when we look at eggplants. We'll start here. Now, honestly, and don't tell anybody this because I'm the chef of the Culinary Vegetable Institute. Not a huge fan of eggplants. I, I, if they did not exist, I wouldn't say like, wow, that ingredient in the world is, uh, you know, is missing. What is this thing that we're missing? Like onions or, or potatoes. But um, as, we've, as we've been working with these with the circulator, we found a lot of pretty interesting techniques. Um, one thing that I do like about eggplants is its ability to just be hammered, right? Like unlike green beans or green vegetables, you can cook the, the hell out of this thing, uh, whether it's in a, in a fire or in a circulator, and it'll, it'll take it, right? And it'll take on whatever additional flavors you want. So for eggplant, we braise one eggplant, let's see here, 185 degrees for eight to 10 hours in butter and end up with this really rich, like just so soft, supple, delicious paste uh, can be applied to anything. But another technique on eggplant we've just worked through, which we learned when uh, guest chef Paul Liebrandt came, is a crisp version, uh, eggplant chips. And now this eggplant, which is beautiful, um, could be anything, happens to be eggplant, is compressed with a pre-gelatinized starch. Um, it's something you can use. You could use um, tapioca starch. This is maltodextrin and water, um, vacuum seal. We shave it thin. I kept one here so you can kind of see about how thin we slice these. Gently cook them, remove them from the bag, and dry them down. You know, these are finished in a fryer. If you had sugar or something, that'd be nice as well in the mix, but kind of fun. 